there! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Throwback Thursday in Planet Coaster. Today, we're going to explore One Potato, Two Potato, a shop inspired by the iconic baked potato shop in Edinburgh. It's a part of the Realm of Rhymes park collaboration project that I was a part of, and I can't wait to show you around, so stay tuned. Before I go any further, let's show on the timeline where One Potato, Two Potato falls on my Steam Workshop. Also, let me get a quick piece count. So this piece count, this total shop, 720 pieces. So a little better than uh, Old King Coles, but yeah, I, I could totally do a lot more cluttering and detailing on this, but I really like that these pieces that I used kind of in a way cheating they, they have some detail on it already and it helps so when you're working in planet coaster and you're limited on piece count uh, pieces like this are, are very helpful I think most of it went into my roof to be honest with you and then with um, the basic shape art but yes so that 720 pieces not too bad let's take a closer look at the shop as you can see, I tried my very best to recreate the charm of the original baked potato shop. The rustic stone facade, the classic wooden sign, and even the cute little uh, mailbox that's out here. And here's some pictures of the real life shop that I used for inspiration to create this. Inside, I tried to recreate the cozy and inviting atmosphere just like the real deal. 
We've got a range of delicious baked potatoes, uh, baked, baked potato options, just like they do in the real life store from classic butter and cheese, so loaded with all of your favorite toppings. Mm, you can just almost smell the aroma in here. <laughs> I was hungry making this too. And of course I have, I now this isn't in the shop, I put this just like I did the other shops that I made for the collaboration. Uh, the, the little poem, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potatoes, more. <laughs> in America, I don't know if how it is around the world, but I, as a kid, I would use this to uh, do like a, an eeny, meeny, miny, mo kind of a thing of you are not it to pick a team or, you know, who had to do a chore or something like that. We'd use this counting method, but let's ask this guy what he thinks. Excuse me, sir. How's the potato? Oh, it's fantastic. I feel like I'm in Edinburgh right now. The attention to detail in the shop is remarkable. Wow, thank you so much for that. I'm glad you enjoy it and you like the place. I spared no effort in making this experience as authentic as possible. It's not just about coasters and Planet Coaster. It's about the immersive atmosphere and the little details that make the difference. like the shop at nighttime. I re I'm really pleased with how I did the lighting. And I like how with these buildings, the decorative windows, that at night with the lighting you can see in. I like that effect. And uh, I put in a, a bathroom as well. It's kind of a 50-50. Some creators don't like having, like, not having the door open where if this was in a real theme park, the guests would be walking through the door to go to the bathroom. I kind of don't care. But that's me, you know, and everybody's different. But obviously the real life shops they had a different kind of design and so I, I put this on here. It was the best that I could do to recreate that. But I, I tried really hard to create the, the architecture from the pictures. And I was really trying to improve. At this point in my journey, I was an expert working my way up to becoming a master and trying to one of the biggest things was try not to build boxy so i mean it's kind of hard when most of our architecture in real life is what yeah say it with me folks boxy <laughs> yeah but adding details and clutter really really helps so for instance so i had like this back i try to make it realistic even though i didn't have shots of what the shop looked like in real life you know, I, I think, okay, if, you know, people live above the shop and so you'd need to have a fire escape out, you know, to get down. So I added those details. It's details like that. Also little details like having um, a back door, you know, where you put your garbage and stuff out, not only for the shop, but also for, you know, the tenants that live in the building. And this is one of the, my favorite things that I like to do is I like to add these little, uh, these color panels behind the window. Uh, it just makes it look like it's lived in. If this was a stand, well, I mean, technically it is. I could have put windows on here, but recreating it, it was up against another building, so I didn't. And I, I really like this roof. I tried something different. I, I hadn't done the Wix customized roofs yet, but I was really trying to to make it look just like the, the pictures. And so I, I, I did this and it turned out really nice and I'm, I'm really happy about that. And then I added, I love these. They're gates. They work really great for the detailing on the roof. 
And now let's talk about these two cuties. And here is a picture of what I used to recreate these guys. Now they're flat, they're not round. When I tried to make them round like actual potatoes and be potato characters, I'm gonna turn it back to day. It just, it the faces and everything, it just, it, it didn't look good at all. I tried several attempts and I'm like, mm, I wasn't happy. So they're flat, but it works. I mean, it worked for what I needed to do. And I love their faces. And I'm really pleased on how they came out. <laughs> what do you guys think? Also, it's funny, as I'm making this video today, <laughs> we're actually having baked potatoes. <laughs> we're having it with my husband's to die for chili. He makes it with a sweet Italian ground sausage along with turkey, ground turkey in it. And I'm telling you, I just told him when he made it, he made it this weekend for dinner. And then much to everybody's, they're all like, oh, we want some for leftovers. I'm like, no, we're having it for dinner to go on top of our baked potatoes. And so, yeah, so we're having uh, my husband's chili as a topping for the baked potatoes tonight. What are your guys' favorite toppings that you put in your baked potatoes. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys like. Anyhow, I hope you liked today's video. Thank you for joining me as we explore the shop One Potato, Two Potato. Oh, also, you know what? Oh, God, I'm, I'm glad I remembered now. I'll also, I'm also going to put in a couple photos of this shop in the actual collaboration realm of rhymes and where Amori placed it and so you can see where it is in that in in that collaboration so I'll put that in here now so I don't forget <laughs>